Hello. Hello, my red birds. Hi there. This is a take two. A take two. I am coming to you live from my sip. My sip of sanctuary. Today is day one. And I am... There we go. Okay. I am on my um, restorative recess. I'm out here on the farm and I'm headed there to the forested edge of the farm. And I wanted to share a couple follow-up pieces to the email that you've received, those of you that are participating in our five-day play shop. I wanted to follow up on an email that I sent this morning. So before I move to that, um, for if you're new to me, hello, I'm Annie Redbird, Redbird Restorative Gardens, and you have found me during a seasonal Sip of Sanctuary, a five-day event that me and some other Redbirds are participating with, participating in, syncing with the healing elements of the season to release, receive, recoup, renew, restore. Today we are. Focusing day one on the core, the ore. In ancient Chinese medicine, autumn is the metal element. And I thought that it's a perfect place to begin. Perfect place to begin as we look to nature for inspiration um, and to, to sinking. You know, the uh, I was explaining to Steve, who is the mechanical wonder man, um, I was explaining to him this morning that, you know, the idea of ore arrived because of core, because of what is lying deep within the mountain of us, deep within the landscape of us. And how is it that we restore our ore? What is it that we need to remind ourselves of our preciousness, of our precious resource? the core, the gold of us, and what nature does so amazingly during this season, she is singing in gold. She is singing in gold, suggesting overtly or very reliably that we are abundant, that we are renewable. And I was thinking about some of you in particular who are in parts uh, on the globe that are participating in the challenge. I was thinking about the winter seasons that follow this season and how perfect fall's story of abundance is for you and is for me. And... (laughs) Today, as you are moving through your restorative recess to find elements that reflect your ore, that are golden like you, as you move through those, consider how you can have those elements more available to you. I share in the handouts that you can download once you register for the event, the five-day event, I share with you some design tips of bringing that gold home, bringing that gold home. Today we bring it home by doing our recess, finding our element, and then how is it that we can bring that gold home in our immediate environment, our close-in environment, to remind and to restore us? I thought of a couple more tips as um, as we move through. So again, if you're new to this concept, if you're new to Redbird, well, I think you should sign up for the five day, but I also offer you these tips. In the close in, not the distant borrowed landscape, as we would say in landscape architecture, not in the borrowed landscape, but in the close in, the intimate spaces, whether you're Um, gardening indoors or gardening out is to consider plant material that reflects gold so in color tone in color tone maybe even in name kind of like you know OPI nail polish 
to some great naming. Well, we've got really great naming of plants now. Very fashion forward, I guess. But to consider the color, the name, and the healing properties of that plant material and to have that in the close-in environment. In your shrubs right around door or close in at windows. Plant, house plants that, that uh, you're growing, maybe herbs that you're growing that remind you of your innate in abundance, your golden nature, that even when foggy or covered in snow, are still there. Are still there. And the other thing uh, <laughs> I woke, woke up with inspiration-wise is our bulbs. You know, fall's sister season is spring. And just like our trees now, when conditions are right, turn color, bulbs laying dormant within soil bloom, can bloom a beautiful gold in spring. So take that. Take that with you. And um, enjoy your restorative recess. Sign up for the five day if you haven't already. And just know I'm here to help you take good care of your precious self. To restore and remind. Until next.